Well, we're talking about returning to the moon in 2018. There will be a lot more hurricanes and a lot more other natural disasters to befall the United States and the world in that time. Um, I hope none worse than Katrina. I've been down there. I've flown over the Gulf Coast. I've met with our employees at Stennis and Michu, and it's just devastating. Um, but the space program is a long-term investment in our future. We must deal with our short-term problems while not sacrificing our long-term investments in our future. When we have a hurricane, we, uh, we don't cancel the Air Force. We don't cancel the Navy. Uh, and we're not going to cancel NASA. Shuttle main engines on the back. The booster stage in the normal way after two minutes or so stage will be LOX hydrogen, the most efficient propellant combination we have. Uh, the lander concept is very notional because uh, implicit in our requirements is the, we believe, the, the uh, requirement to have a, uh, a man-tended or tendable lunar base capability. That will be best obtained by um, a lander design, which leaves as much. The architecture will support uh, crew rotation schedules very similar, if not identical, to what we do today at the space station. Uh, that is, we could take a crew to the moon, let them work for six months, uh, and then return them. And so the vehicle design is that it should be capable of withstanding a, uh, uh, a six-month stay in lunar orbit. There is, of course, expendable. There's no sense uh, expending it to ill purpose. We'd like to leave as much on the surface as we can. So the lander may well look different from this. But in this concept, the lander then lifts off after a four- to seven-day stay by a crew of four rendezvous with the uh, CEV, which has been left uh, untended in orbit, or I should say robotically tended. Uh, uh, shortly prior to Earth entry, the service module separates. Command module uh, was um, at the completion of entry, uh, pretty much the standard fashion. Drogue chutes are deployed. The heat shield drops off. Airbags pop out. For a touchdown, uh, we use the airbags and the chutes to cushion the descent. Ultimately, it will be up to the contractor to